Alrighty. Well, we are now joined by Scott Miller, our Senior Vice President of Competition. Um, we received some questions um, on the last lap and he will take a few questions to clarify. Um, let's kick things off, Bob, just go ahead. Yes, yeah, Scott, can you kind of explain the calls, the no call on Denny and the call on DeBandetto and Elliott at the end of the race? Well, yeah, it um, was pretty clear cut. The 21 hung a left and, and drove those guys down below the line. So uh, we had called that twice on the 22 car uh, during the race. So nothing different there. Um, on the, the 24 and the 11 being down there, I mean, we, in our judgment, um, they were down there to avoid a wreck. And uh, on the nine, I mean, he obviously just pulled out and passed underneath the yellow line. So I think all of it was, um, you know, from our from our vantage point, I think fairly clear cut. And is, would there be any consideration to eliminating this rule or eliminating it maybe for the final lap or overtime? Um, I think you heard Eric say in the previous interview that there would probably be even more wrecks and we certainly don't need more wrecks than what we saw today. So uh, probably not. All right, we'll take our next question. Um, Dustin Long, did you have a question? Thank you, uh, Scott. Um, you know, is there is there much more that, that can be done in terms of the rule? Obviously, you guys explained it in the driver's meeting. Um, you know, you had to penalize multiple people today. Uh, are you bothered that, that you had to make this call this many times with how much you guys have enforced this rule and reminded drivers of this uh, throughout the last few years? Yeah, well, I mean, outside of putting a wall there, I mean, I don't, I don't really know what more we can do. I mean, I do sincerely believe that we need the rule. I mean, you see all the, the real estate that's around here, and and if we started, you know, having cars running twelve wide down the back straightaway, I mean, just imagine what would happen when you get to turn three. So, I think that we, it's important that we continue to have a rule. Um, I, I get out there in the heat of a battle, things happen. It's, um, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's hard when there's all that real estate down there, but you just, you just can't do it. So, I mean, I, I don't think that we can eliminate it. I think it would be a mess. So um, we, we, we kind of are where we are. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, our next question will come from Alan Kavana. Go ahead, Alan. Hi, Scott. Where did you view the 17 in all this? Was he one uh, trying to avoid the wreck? Was Because it looked like he may have forced the 11 down, so should the 17 have got a penalty? I just wanted to clear that up. Uh, I mean, I thought we saw sparks flying and everybody trying to avoid the mess that the 21 created, so that's that we, we didn't even consider much about the 17. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, Scott. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to clarify for us um, and have a good evening. All right. You guys too. Thank you.